my favorite film is Billion Dollar Brain. Well, one of the films I really loved was The Hours. It's not my favorite film. I don't have one favorite film, but what, that is definitely one of the films I really loved and I thought was absolutely exquisite. Uh, let's, okay, if I had to choose the one, it would be either uh, Apocalypse Now, Kabbalah, eh? or it would be uh, it would be Persona from Bergman. Those two oppositions, I would say, that's the two, you know, two fantastic movies. Um... One of my favorite films is probably Harold and Maude. I haven't watched it in the last ten days, but I really like it. I think I loved, I liked, I liked Constant Gardner a lot, and liked also City of God, I guess. I don't know, probably Fallen Angels, but the Wong Kar Wai film is a, is a film I love, and I mean, I love Raging Bull, I love, I, yeah, I mean, I like a lot of Lars von Trier films. I, I just love so many filmmakers, it's really, really hard. I don't have a favorite, but... So, where were we? Oh, network. Network would be certainly. Um, yes, I mean it was. It's amazingly predictive that film. You know that that film is, is extraordinary. And Peter Finch is such a. I mean that is such a wonderful performance. I think that's one of my favourite performances. Actually, you know, uh, I would say uh, Apocalypse Now. Um, I think I watched Cinema Paradiso a couple of times but years ago, <laughs> and there's a film called Abhiman in Hindi that I watched <laughs> a couple of times. But uh, I usually don't watch because I get so little time. I'd rather watch a new film than watch a film again. Also, although there are films that you keep thinking you're going to watch it again, which somehow never happens. <laughs> okay, I would say in animation, the, the, my favorite film is Toy Story. It's, it was the first 3D animated film. I still believe it's the best. Yeah. Central Station by Walter Salas uh, is my favorite film. I remember watching it at the festival in, in the Philippines. And the lights went on and I was still crying. So <laughs> I think I gravitate towards emotional and, and simple films. And, uh, That's a tough question. Favorite film, I would say, is a tie between The Bicycle Thieves and uh, Scenes from a Marriage. <laughs> and then we, you know, that, and then we, yeah, that's it. Oh, that's it. <laughs> What's your favorite film? Um, you know, I don't have a favorite film. I do have favorite filmmakers, and they are uh, Lynn Ramsey, Lucretia Martel, and uh, Claire Denis. For some reason, I just, uh, this is a horrible thing to say, but I always find myself gravitating towards uh, female directors. All time favorite film. That's very difficult. What's a film that you. That if you had to sit, if you had to sit and watch something to relax to chill out and you go back and you think I'd like to watch blah now what film would that be? Uh, you know what I like is uh, you know there's an Iranian film called The Runner by a, a director called Emir Naderi. It's a beautiful beautiful film. It follows the story of a boy who's who's. Um, he's kind of trying to make a living and then he's learning how to read. He's trying to teach himself to read. It's a it's a really beautiful film. And then my final question that I've been asking everybody is, what is your favorite film? My favorite film of all time is absolutely E.T. <laughs> That's good. One. I, I thought it was something sort of like uh, Lawrence Arabia or, da -da, or uh, you know, but no, E.T. <laughs> E.T. E. is the one for me. It's my favorite film in the last 10 days is a film... <laughs> That's uh, called The Chest of the Cannibal by, uh, by a Venezuelan guy who did it like by himself in the middle of the, of the you know, Amazon. And uh, he didn't know what the hell he was doing, but he created a mythology that's so bizarre, that's so personal, that it's, he's like the Ed Wood of, uh, of Latin America now. I mean, he, it's unbelievably strange and unique. And so that's, that's, that was, you know... I don't know why I'm telling you this, but it's just <laughs> the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. Perhaps I could come and say goodnight to you.